on guys i hope everyone's having a wonderful day today we just got this camo in uh not too long ago about a day or two ago uh it's just awesome i didn't when i first bought this i didn't really know if i would like it or not because it's just bland right almost looks like just a normal filled gray paint job and then i got it and it makes you realize what a camouflaged helmet is really supposed to be all about we see all these camo helmets that are coming out colorful bright and yeah some are original uh and definitely some are fake um and getting this just makes you appreciate how sim the simplicity in it. And with that said, we'll go ahead and get right into that. And this is a single decal, either here or Craig's Marine. Um, and I say that, I mean, obviously you can't see any outlines, but someone did a thermo, did a, took a thermal picture of this and it revealed that there is a decal perfectly right here. What it is, who knows? It's, it either has to be a here or a... Uh, because of the shape and I'll show you that picture in just a second up above or in the corner somewhere but with that said let's get straight into the camo and as you can see this is just a heavy duty camo job almost like concrete you see a little bit of wood chip and sands in there uh, and the cool thing is is you can see the brush strokes when that when the soldier was painting this just overall a very very neat helmet which shows you camouflage helmets weren't supposed to be pretty they were definitely for survival and this soldier never thought in a hundred years uh, his helmet would be worth anything, you know. To him, it was just a piece of equipment trying to get through the war. Um, per awesome wear on this. You can see where it wore down straight to the metal. That's even uh, kind of like a deep black color, which is what you want to see metal age as. Um, just the wear on this is just awesome. And I'll show you guys some outside uh, video. It shows this off just a little bit better than the inside. As you can see all the way around, just a perfect heavy duty camo. And then we'll go to the inside, which is nice within itself. And as it should be a worn liner, I mean, I always get scared when I see camos with a pristine liner, because you know if it's camouflaged, more than likely, it was probably worn pretty hard. And I mean, it's hard to see in this kind of light, but he even painted the inside. And on camos, you don't want to see them go past the liner band. If you have a camo paint in here, then there's something wrong with that. Uh, there's no reason to do that, you know. And even like this, some spots a soldier got close to the liner band. And you can see where some of that dirt and wood chip and whatever else he used to paint this actually got on this steel liner band itself. See if you can see that. See right there, he painted it right there. But a beautiful liner. And this helmet right here was actually published in a... Uh, in a book itself, I'll show you the page in a second. Um, Camouflage the Helmets of the Wehrmacht. I can't say that right, <laughs> it's a long name. But it was published in that book, and I found that interesting when buying this. It just made it just so more interesting to own. And uh, another thing I forgot to show y'all, it's a steel liner band, right? All the washers, uh, split pins are fine. The liner's never been removed. Original to the helmet, um, look at that. You got mismatched parts in here which is pretty cool which did happen you know um the germans in world war ii were going to use anything and everything they're not going to throw anything away and they used the uh square chin bells for this one which is pretty interesting in its own um so anyways guys uh we'll take this outside show you some of that and i'll actually show you next to my other camo i have which uh i found here in my hometown so yeah be right back so guys as you can see now i pulled this one out which is a similar texture kind of just not as heavy on the dirt and sand side. You know, it's just a thinner applicant or, or whatever you would call that <laughs> paint um, that they use. So it's just not as thick as this one, which is just, I just fall, I've just fallen in love with this one right here. But I mean, almost the same, similar, I'd say. You can see a little kind of like sawdust right there. And you come over here and look at this one a little bit closer up. I mean, this, it's just so heavy textured. I've not seen one like this. I have seen a couple photos that in uh soldiers in combat using these and it's just i don't know i don't know there's just something about this one that i just fall in love with um but anyways guys let's take this helmet outside and show you uh just a real quick view in sunlight so guys it's a little windy the sun is starting to set pretty fast so i had to go out front look like a madman in front of my house but i wanted to just show you how chunky this really is chunky monkey german helmet anyways super excited guys um uh, show you on the inside Look at how that aged. Just awesome. Anyway, guys, until next time, y'all stay safe. Have a good day and bye.